Update. My 29 female boyfriend, 25 male, admitted that he forced himself on a woman several years ago. Hello again everybody. It has now almost been two weeks since my boyfriend admitted he committed one of the most despicable acts possible against another human being. TW, rape, sexual assault, and sexual violence. If these topics hurt you in any way, please stop reading now. The whole situation still feels surreal. I have gone from being angry at him to being angry at myself. I have written long texts to him and then deleted them completely. I have gone through stages of denial where I thought that Jason, being such a good guy, may not have actually done anything wrong. Maybe a woman gaslighted him into feeling that he had committed a crime when she consented at the time. Then I realized that everyone who commented on my last post hit the nail squarely on the head. He didn't go to the police to turn himself in for what he did. If he truly felt remorse, that is what he would have done. His charm and natural, understanding, of women's problems were complete ruses. Many people with sociopathic tendencies are great with people. Most of all, he gets to cry and move on with his life. He gets to love another woman again. His victim. I can't even fathom what she's going through. I finally called him two nights ago. He wanted to talk about how we could mend our relationship, but after two weeks of not hearing his voice and being scared of how I may run back to him, it hit me like a truck, I don't love him anymore. I told him that I wanted him to vacate his apartment for three hours while I gathered my belongings. He said he would do so. I ended the call by telling him that if he felt any remorse, he would go to the police and accept all charges for what he did, not contest them in court, and take his punishment. He started talking about how that wouldn't bring justice to his victim. Then he said that he loved me. Twisted fuck. I showed up the next morning at the decided time with my sister, he was nowhere to be seen. I'm confident he won't contact me again. Thank you all so much for helping me through this. I'm going to find a therapist as soon as possible. Too long did not read. My rapist boyfriend won't turn himself in, and I broke up with him. I safely gathered my belongings and now I'm living with my sister. Edit. I apologize for editing the post, but after receiving a couple of private messages asking me to drop his personal information, I must make one thing clear. I will not, under any circumstances, post any identifying information about him. It is not only against site-wide rules, but if I were reckless enough to do that, he could sue me. Again, I repeat, nobody is getting his information. He is a monster. He probably deserves worse. But it will not be coming from me. I respect you. You gave him a consequence. You are an honorable person. Thank you. Welp, he's never telling anyone about what he did again. This must be so horrendous for you, I'm so sorry this happened, but I'm so happy you stuck to your word and left him. I'm sure you're better off for sure. You made the right decision. He's still happy to sidestep any responsibility. Fuck him. Good choice, probably not a sociopath though. They don't admit a thing. Actually, him, going to the police and turning himself in, might not be what the victim would want. The police would need to reach out to her, and that might just refresh the trauma for her. You can't assume what a victim would need and want, and rib her of her agency. If he wants to make amends to his victim it should be in a way that she supports. 1. I think you did the right for yourself. 2. Prison DOSNT fix people it makes people worse especially in places like America where prison life is rough the only thing that would help him is therapy. 3. He is right it would bring zero comfort to his victim if it's been 7 years then the last thing she wants is it bought up again because she'd be trying to move on 4. Court case requires two things victim testimony and a perpetrator, most victims don't want to face their rapist. You did the right thing. If you have written proof he confessed, or video, you might want to give it to the police. Or just make a police report so if, when he rapes another person there is evidence. Rape isn't a mistake, it's a deliberate torture that ruins lives. This guy's assaults kept escalating up to the rape, he had many chances to stop harassing his victim before he irreversibly damaged her psyche. I'm proud you left. I can't imagine a self-respecting person continuing their relationship with a rapist. I would have a hard time trusting him too and think you are right to move on. He is right that turning himself in won't change anything for the victim. I am a male that has been sexually assaulted by another male. If the guy that did that turned himself in, it wouldn't change how it affected me. I would feel much better if the dude offered to pay for therapy for me and got therapy himself to prevent it from happening again. 
That is what I would recommend you ask him to do. Unless he would do it again, him going to prison isn't an undo button, it will just cost taxpayers money. There are other things he could do to try to make it right if he truly wanted to. Dumping him was probably a good idea, but expecting him to willfully go to the police out of some sense of penance is one of the stupidest things I've seen here. He'd be completely ruining the rest of his life and subjecting himself to severe trauma. U.S. prisons' jails are not built for rehabilitation. They are built for brutal punishment, and he'd likely come out worse than when he went in. If he felt remorse why would he turn himself in? That's not gonna change what happened and that's not gonna get rid of that poor girl's memory of that night. While I don't think people should get away with this, I would be lying if I said I agreed with that original statement. He wouldn't have told you if he didn't feel remorse. And he wouldn't have been crying by the end if he didn't know he messed up. Shitty thing to do but I think it's a lie saying he doesn't feel remorse just because he didn't want to go to jail. You're such a strong person and have made the right decision. Stay safe. I respect you, but I believe in redemption. It seems like he had his. But it's your decision and you have all the right to do so. Not turning himself in doesn't mean he doesn't feel remorse. That's a very juvenile way of thinking. You did the right thing and I wish you all the best. I would also suggest you look into getting therapy, as something like this could cause, or exacerbate, anxiety and trust issues in the future. Take care of yourself and make sure you're getting the help you need. People sick trying to get his personal info, y'all stupid, social vigilantes, just using the excuse of justice to relieve your anger, I hate when people shields in good moves to make bad ones, y'all make me fucking sick this is serious and I wish you and your boyfriend luck with this situation. Question for rape victims, would him going to prison make you feel better? I find it weird you're talking about crushes and he just openly admits to rape. Almost like he knew what the outcome would be. Welp he's never admitting that to another girlfriend. This is bullshit. Edit. Thanks for the award it's my first ever award. Who needs honesty and second chances when you have the Reddit witch hunt? I hope none of you ever do anything you regret. Because Reddit will tell you in the world that you don't deserve love or forgiveness. Everyone in this thread calling rape a mistake and saying op denied this guy forgiveness and redemption is really showing their ass. I hope I never have the misfortune of dealing with you creeps in the real world. You can't take back rape, you can't do it by accident, and if people want to shun and hate those who willfully abuse others for sexual pleasure, then good. I had a very close friend admit he raped his ex-girlfriend many times. I knew them when they were together. We all hung out plenty. We drifted after that with some contact and we both moved. The ex posted about it years later and detailed that having no one believe her was terrible. I reached out. She thanked me for helping her feel less isolated. He moved to another country. The idea of him abusing others still haunts me. So because he said he is remorseful, he shouldn't be brought to justice. And for the idiots who say, what about his future? What about the futures he stole from that woman? What about futures he will most likely steal from future potential victims? Rapists don't deserve to have their futures protected. They lost that right the minute they raped someone. This comment section is disgusting. So many people defending a rapist and basically saying to hell with the victim and future victims. I think everyone deserves a second chance in this life but you specifically were not obligated to give him one. I hope you and him and the other girl get to a happy place eventually. You made the right choice. Hope everything goes well for you. However him turning himself in won't happen and also it won't accomplish absolutely anything. Best case scenario he should go to therapy. Prison doesn't fix anything. Pretty sure 99% of the stuff on here is patently fake. You are so strong. This was so smart of you and so good. Break up suck but it sounds like you've got a decent headspace about this one. My gosh some of these comments are out of control. It shows we as a society have a long way to go. He raped, sexually assaulted someone and you guys are going after her and saying he made a mistake? My gosh. Dot the comments make me so sad. Internet idealism ruins another relationship. The girl is just as capable of going to the police. He can feel regret without wanting to ruin his entire life. You did the right thing and you're completely entitled to your emotions about him. The amount of people under this thread who seriously feel so much empathy for a rapist who has deluded himself into believing and acting like he's the victim in his own terrible, inexcusable crime is fucking tragic. 
A lesson learned from the guy. Don't tell the truth. I'm sorry, but I want to say that you're literally a Karen. The situation. He admits that he did a horrible act and wants to move on and get help. You say that you are not okay with it. And this is your right. But then you fucking say him that he has to suffer in jail in order to order to what? In order to unrape the girl? He needs help. Jails don't help. As someone who has been raped in my sleep, I think your choice was wise. Hot take. Don't get relationship advice on Reddit. Go to a counselor. The first 15 years of my life, countless horrors were inflicted upon me. For the next 10 years, I became the horror inflicted upon the world. In the 20 years since that, I have lived a good life, and have done what I can to help those around me. I will never forget what happened to me, nor will I ever forget what I did to others. All of that doesn't define who I am now, but it was a path I had to travel to get where I am. Redemption is real. People change, sometimes dramatically, and often because of remorse for what they have done, and because they learn to forgive the things done to them. Don't let this deprive you of any of your own humanity as it did me. It was much harder to claw it back than it was to throw it away. Ah yes. Good. OL Reddit diagnosing people with sociopathy over the internet, by the words of other people. What a pleasant, unbiased and wonderful community. My rapist boyfriend won't turn himself in, what do you expect? If she's not made a complaint to the police and this guy turns up at the station however many years later saying, I raped someone, they won't sew anything. Even if he provides all the details of the victim would you really want them dragging up this whole experience again? So you have to do 5 to 10 years in prison before remorse is a thing? Ha. Huh. I'm glad all those people on the other thread know exactly how someone feels, maybe they should talk with the government since they can read minds. That wouldn't bring justice to my victim, equals, that's the only thing that could possibly bring justice to my victim, but it would be, like, super inconvenient for me. My good friend divorced her husband because he wouldn't stop while they were having sex after she told him no. I told her that he raped you. As soon as he took it upon himself without consent to do whatever he wanted, it's rape and it would only get worse. Anyway, long story short, my best friend is happy she got away from her freak of an ex. Wow. I can't imagine how much it must have messed with your head. In the end, I think you've done something amazing. You held him accountable. Edit. By accountable I just mean that op dumped him, since it's likely one of the first times he experienced any negative consequences of his own actions. Obviously he should be imprisoned, but I'll take a dumping over nothing at all. ITT, people who believe rapists need a hug and don't deserve to go to prison, also, people equating rape to, a mistake. He started talking about how that wouldn't bring justice to his victim. Like hell it wouldn't. Him turning himself in would be a small victory for the life-changing harm he committed. It would be something for the victims. Rapists take a piece of you with them, you are never the same. 10 years going I still haven't been able to complete a college semester because my PTSD. This is a good, healthy choice and I'm happy you're safe. Well done op. The cynic in me thinks this will ensure he never talks about this to anyone ever again, so op leaving may have been the only, punishment, he ever receives. I read the first post as well, I don't understand why it was a difficult decision for you but in the end I'm glad you left. Unfortunately less than 2% of rapists receive jail time and that woman is going to suffer with PTSD for the rest of her life.